devastated. Um, devastated. Devastating loss. Very raw right after the game. I usually sleep on these ones, but um, given that you know we've got Monday, uh, we've got the show tomorrow, I thought, want to get something out just to document it, the raw feelings. I, I do enjoy the raw feelings if I feel like I can keep them in control. And today's a day I, I feel like I can keep them in control. Um, we end up losing by 22 points. Um, yeah, tough one. Tough one to swallow. You know, it was just, you know, I think overall we, we were beaten, obviously, by a better team today um, on paper, on field. Um, the, the key for me today, which which I was really impressed with and really happy with, if I'm honest, was was um, the fact that there was a point in the game where you know we, we had dominance and I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do that today. Um, my whole feeling throughout the week was pretty pretty numb and, and pretty dull, uh, if I'm honest. You know, even in my preview, obviously didn't didn't predict us to win, didn't expect us to win. Um, you know, we end up I don't know if you call it an honourable loss or whatever you call it, but uh, West Coast over there is always a tough task, but you know we put ourselves in a position where you know we really scared them. We really had them on the ropes, and there is something to be taken out of that for me. Uh, I'm not. I, I don't believe we lost the game today due to umpiring. I know that there's been a lot of um, controversy around that throughout not only Carlton fans but AFL fans in general. Yeah, they made some mistakes today, but. I genuinely believe that we just got beaten by a better team today. Um, and that's just how I saw it. You know, the, the start of the game was, I thought the first few minutes we were pretty sloppy with, uh, you know, in congestion. Uh, and then we started getting better. You know, the pressure was there and, um, you know, it was it was a solid one. And obviously in my preview, you know, I was talking about, I'm looking straight at our leaders today. And I thought Murphy, Jones, even Simo in that first quarter, I thought they were really solid um, given the criticism that they were given last week. So I was pretty impressed with that. Um, you know, early in the second quarter, I thought we started to get dominant, dominated in the ruck. Pettinet goes off, and then all of a sudden, young Tom DeConning just does a number on on Nick Natty. He, he just competes well, and, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was great. We were surging. We were resilient. We were so good, you know, up, up at the half. And it was, you know, for me personally, I, I think the whole... You know, every stage of this pandemic that happens for Melbournians, and so that's for myself, every stage that we've gone further and further into this lockdown, I've just, it's kind of been like another hit to the face. And uh, yeah, I think this is the week. It didn't break me, but it definitely sucked the life out of me this week. I've had, yeah, I guess you could call it a bit of a down week. So to have that first half and to have that moment at halftime where I was just, happy, relieved, energetic, given I had very little energy before the game and throughout the week, was I was just so happy with it and I was so proud of them. And, you know, you look at the team that was in today, you know, you look at Cottrell debuting, you know, Tom DeConning, very inexperienced ruck. Um, you know, our forwards, all three, all three of our best forwards are gone. Cunningham's gone, injured. You know, Jack Silvani's out still as well. And so we know that the scoring was going to be a struggle Um we knew the scoring was going to be a struggle. So to have that moment at halftime where I was like, I'm so proud of my boys, was it really made my week, I've got to say. You know, the third quarter happens, we start, you know, the unreal pressure. And then, um, you know, they. it, it was funny, you know, it was, it was predicted to rain all day, um, all week. And it didn't really rain at all. And the sun started shining in the third and then the eagles started sh surging and, and, you know, it just started playing into their hands and, you know, uh, there was a moment, I think Samo got pinned for holding the ball, controversial, but it was what it was. Um, there was two minutes, 36 to go, and I s took a note here that said, here it is, here's the moment. And it's the moment we've been talking about pretty much all year. It's that moment when it's not going our way. Two or three or four goals go against us and it's the moment who's going to stand up. And I, I thought we failed there again. We, we, it didn't happen again for us in that moment when the momentum was swinging against us and it just we weren't able to turn it around or get a goal against the flow. And, you know, it's going to be a talking point this week. We're not able to do it. We, we haven't shown we're able to do it. Um, you know, West Coast just, they're so good, man. They are really, really good. You know, umpiring calls, I understand, didn't go our way. Sucks the momentum out of moments. And then they go go on and kick goals. But they are they are so good. And I've got nothing but nothing but respect for them. Um, you know, it was devastating to concede that late in the third quarter. For that really took the sting out as well. 
Um, Sheed kicks an unbelievable goal from a tight angle in the fourth quarter. We're hanging in there, and then Sheed kicks another one, and in the end, it was you know it was game over. There were there were two things that stood out to me. I mean, we we were dominated in all stats today, um, apart from one, 77 tackles. So I, I I don't believe we lost today due to a lack of effort. I believe we lost today due to the fact that West Coast are just such a better side than us, and that that's where we want to be. You know, when those moments were needed from the Eagles, they took them. They created, you know, magic and, and, and you know, whether it was handball chains in traffic to get them out, they were able to just get that ball out and just go forward. They were able to do it. And, and that's something we're going to obviously work hard to get to. That's something we're not able to do yet. Um, but we're going to get there. I, I, I would have loved to have been a, a goal closer. I thought that was um, where we deserved to be. But end of the day, we lose by 22. Um, the other one was West Coast. They took 77 marks. And I spoke to Tom from West Coast Fan TV after the game, before the game. And he was talking about, you know, when the Eagles take 90 marks, they don't lose a game. And that was sort of with full, with a full game. And so they've taken 77. They got that game going. It obviously wasn't as wet as what it was predicted to be. Um, and, and, you know, fair play. So that was great. You know, there were two, it was, I understand, I don't, I don't want to be making excuses and, you know, all of that. We need to be believing we're going to be playing finals and we need to be holding them accountable and, and all of that. And I do, but to see Tom DeConning in the side just warm the heart. To see my boy Zach Fisher come into the side and do his thing and, and show the selectors that why, you know, why he should have been in the side from as soon as he was available. I thought that was really pleasing. But having said that, I do like the fact that he was a little stiff. Um, not to get into the side earlier, because then once he got in, he was he knew he had to stay in. So, I think the two of them did really well. Um, you know, ultimately, and I'll get to the play ratings video tomorrow morning. Uh, but I wanted to get something out just to share my thoughts, and and you know, it's the therapy for me. Um, but you know, yeah, given the side that was there today, given we know our best forwards went there today, and you know, it was it. it <laughs> I say it every week. It is what it is. You know. Um, so that's that. I mean, I thought guys like Matt Kennedy stood up. Um, I thought those those other guys, the, the non Cripses, stood up. Um, I thought, again, our leaders have some work to do. Um, I actually thought Cripps had a... There were three handballs in the third quarter, which... Sorry, the fourth quarter with Cripps where three turnovers. And I don't want to pot shot individuals. That's the one thing I try not to do, but... We've got to get better there. We've got to get better there, whether it's going to get experience into the side, whether it's a waiting game. Um, we have to get better when push comes to shove and the momentum goes against us. It's just a non-negotiable, guys, for me anyway. So, yeah, I'm I'm flat. Obviously, I'm flat, but I'm not completely devastated. There's There's a few mitigating factors here for me, you know, why I'm not devastated. The team that was in... The team that we were playing, where we were playing, uh, and things like that. Could we make an excuses? It is what it is. I'm, I'm making excuses. Whatever. That's just how I feel. I just don't feel a disappointment in the group. I feel a disappointment in certain moments, and it's it's just a hallmark of where we are for me. You know, this is where we're at. We've gone from not being able to even compete for wins to struggling to you know wrestle back momentum. And these this is the step. Now, when is that step going to be taken? I don't know. Um, I don't know what the patience is like for everyone else. Um, I think as long as we're competing and we're putting ourselves in those positions, I mean, eventually you just learn, I think, um, given what happens with Richmond and, and all these other teams who end up being great, they end up going through the learning process. So that's how I feel about it. Um, yeah, d you know, disappointing, but fair play to West Coast. Well done. Um, great side, did what they needed to do. That was a real professional win by them. Let's be honest, they... Um, didn't come out and put that four-quarter performance in, um, probably due to our pressure. And they will respect us. I think they will. I think they'll respect us from that. Um, but you guys, please let me know. The floor is yours. As I said, player ratings will come out tomorrow morning. I want to I want to look at it again and, and actually watch the game again and, and go from there. But uh, leave some comments. What did you see? Um, did you see the momentum swings? Did you Do you feel like it was an umpiring thing? I, I personally won't be going there because... You know, the better footy you play, the more rewarded you get. So we know it's tough going there as well over in Perth against the Eagles for that matter. So share some thoughts, share some things for me to read, get get some detail in there. I love, I think last week there was a lot of you that put a lot of detail in there, especially in that, in that mid-season review. So get some more detail in there. I want to really dissect this and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the play ratings video. Have a great one and go the Mighty Blues. Hey!